Uh, good evening, it's 6.11pm on the 28th of August 2024. I'm going to read some telegrams uh, concerning Dang Pidang Nutin Yutanakunza passing a, a few days ago. Uh, I'm going to uh, remove some of the identifying details because I think you're going to be able to get the gist of the message without that. Uh, the first one... Uh, very very sad news mate uh, sorry for the reading uh a lot of memories flooding back dang and g played a huge role in our lives they looked after us and cared for us young teachers i'm thinking of lots of good times we shared together uh, she put up a very brave and long fight it was really amazing to see how she handled it and was so open. Uh, sorry for taking so long to reply. A very hard time. Uh, and that was, in that case, uh, that was about 48 hours after um, my friend there getting the news. And he was closer to Dang than I was, more time together. Uh, uh, and uh, he... Uh, and I was sending him photos and, and, and information. I wasn't harassing him. I wasn't saying, hey, call me now or there's an emergency. Or send him a message. No, I just, uh, I, yeah, like I said, I knew it was hard for him. And he, uh, so it just took him a while to get his, uh, be able to respond. Um, the next one, another teacher, a good friend. Haven't, haven't seen him in years, uh, even though we used to work very closely together. I share your sense of loss. We were on the verge of starting a business together before I had to leave the land of smiles. A loss to all who knew her and my condolences to her family. Uh, great uh, gent there. Uh, another important one. And I, I told this uh, friend, a leader, a uh, about the news and he, he knew about it already because uh, he's closer to Dang than I am and he, he said many years ago I was at a family funeral where things were nasty ever since I have kept my counsel and kept my thoughts silent when people pass so forgive me for staying quiet so that friend uh, there uh, I mean he's a famous writer and yet he he hasn't commented in a, and and that's that's completely understandable uh, uh, a different approach there another one another another sort of a, a good friend who haven't seen in a, a decade uh, hi Mike I saw your help heartfelt Facebook post and watched it from start to end and that's how I feel about her passing just home from work a while ago. Dang, for reasons I don't understand, cut communications with me after I left Bangsen and AUA closed. I'm not sure why she did that. There was no big falling out, nothing like that. But it was willful and intentional on her part and, and I respected that thereafter. And uh, uh, Fantastic dude there. I I, I uh yeah, I need to comment a little bit on, on my guess for what could have happened there. Uh, um otherwise people are gonna wonder what that stranger uh, I I think it may have been related to the centre closing down. Um it uh, you know, twenty five years ago we sort of had this key role and, and the, the school were almost had a monopoly over the area, uh I mean, the college as it was, it wasn't a school, but the local primary and high high schools, they, they didn't have teachers at that time, and, and we didn't have the internet like now. And over the years, things changed in the landscape of, of Thailand education. You know, there were more English teachers around. They started appearing in kindergartens and primary schools, and it was all good news. They, they need, needed more English, and that's what was happening, and things were happening online. And uh, the landscape just changed, and... The, the school, the, you know, the college where I work, it still had numbers, uh, but I think there was 
a bit of a decision to to close it uh because there were so many other things operating in the university at that time that were just teaching english in different ways and i, I i'm just guessing that that might have been hard on dang dang was uh really the heart of that um important time and as, as you can see a lot of people impacted on their lives in a positive way and and perhaps my friend there uh, uh because he was a manager you know maybe that was a bit hard for dang and she needed a bit of time away i'm not sure i'm just speculating there i'll come back to that another one uh she suffered another different person here uh, an older friend uh, she suffered so much she's free I live on the edge of sorrow since my sister died a couple of years back and I haven't been able to approach the loss of Dang at all. We were good mates, he said. She shared lots with me until I got a, got a bit messy. And then he had a bit of a joke because uh, I'd sent so many messages. Are you on speed or is that normal for you? Uh, and I said, the recent video? And he said, no. Anyway, I, I said, I said you, you got messy? I don't recall that. Or was that later on? I said. And then he replied, I'm at work past midnight in tears. So he, he stayed, at, he, he hasn't gone home. He stayed at work in tears. Because I've stayed away from Dang's imminent end. I said to him, you were always one of the leading teachers. And he replied, she was disappointed in me. And then he said, leading teachers bullshit. She didn't approve. Uh, and I kind of got the feeling that my good friend there was beating himself up a bit. Um, he, him and Dang were as, as sick as thieves. They They were... He was fluent in Thai years before anyone else, um, and he was unique in that sense. And he was well liked and well loved. And I, that ending there was a bit uh, unusual. Uh, another mate, uh, handsome, charming guy. Uh, so I heard. She is missed. Thank you for the photo. And uh, lady. Uh, uh, important person me for me said she said uh, uh, Thai lady I know she was suffering she should be in heaven and yeah that, that friend there uh, I know that she thinks in Thai and it's sort of been a translation to English but should is the same the same sort of idea in Thai as, as English so Interesting to say she should be in heaven. Uh, it can mean she should be, but she's not. Or it could mean uh, she probably is in heaven by now. Um, yeah, pretty deep, th deeper uh, heaven. Okay, let's take a look at this from the point of view of an atheist. I mean, you know, someone might say there is no heaven, and so a soul's not there, and so what is all this carrying on about? Um, somebody else might think that well, maybe her soul has gone to heaven and, or, or maybe you might have some middle ground there and think that her memory lives on and uh, uh, people have been sending me all sorts of different understandings of the world and the universe and thought and what have you but yeah I've certainly been looking at that point um Dang was so special for all these people and the people are mourning now, but uh, yeah, by all means, yes, you should be somewhere in heaven that he having a great time. But, you know, look at those communications there. You've got, you've got one guy who's can't reply, you know, he's just can't bring himself to reply. Not that he doesn't want to reply ever, doesn't want to voice what he's feeling at all, but it's too much for him and that guy's a, a teacher who's teaching every day so it's he's a confident person and he's been stuck and then and then we sort of had there uh the other guy who 
doesn't want to comment at all uh, out of his choice and 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 we all respect that so some people are going to need time to reply uh it doesn't mean you have to cut them off you can still see communicating with them even though they're not ready to communicate back uh some people don't want to say anything they've, they've said stuff in the past and it's hurt them and 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 they you know forgive me for staying quiet um you're going to get that it doesn't mean they don't want to hear from you it doesn't mean that they don't want to get updates or news or, or what have you but they they want to stay quiet and uh, that's come from a guy who's a famous writer so if if he, he doesn't need to stay quiet he he, he could write a masterpiece um, but he wants to stay quiet not just for Deng's story which I, I know is would have hit him hard he's I mean he's married but and he you know there's never any I, I can confidently say there was never any romance there with him or Deng and then Deng with anyone else but um uh I'm sure he'll be hitting him very very hard um then the other guy there, uh, you know, another guy who was also in a position of responsibility and a fantastic guy. I'm, I'm sure there was nothing bad, deeply bad that happened between him and Dang, but I think it was probably, I'm just guessing, but I think it was the closing of the centre that might have been a bit heavy for Dang. Uh, you know, if he kind of had no idea of medical knowledge or genetics or... or anatomy or physiology you know you, you you could probably say that the closing of AUA caused the cancer I mean of course that wasn't the case but emotionally it probably was very hard for Dang to see her life's work getting closed and and I don't know you know other people tell me about it if you know more than me and you, and you probably do you, I'm sure you do and the other guy there the final guy there beating himself up over it beating himself up um she she didn't approve, you know, she I got messy, all this stuff. I mean just guys, if you've got a message to send, you gotta clear the water, just do it, you know. If you've got to do it, do it, do it. Send that message now, ask for forgiveness, do it.